There's been a lot of talk in this country lately about how to encourage women to report harassment. Still, the NDP confirmed today that its two members who alleged personal misconduct by two Liberal MPs will not make a formal complaint. Those allegations prompted a meeting of a secretive House of Commons committee today, but tonight the fate of the now former Liberal MPs remains in limbo. Catherine Cullen is following this story. Catherine. Peter, these allegations and the way they have been handled have created a lot of bad blood, but it's not clear who, if anyone, is going to get to the bottom of them. The Honourable Member for Sailor and Irish, Michelle. Mr. Speaker, it might look more or less like business as usual for Massimo Pacetti and Scott Andrews, but accused of personal misconduct, they are both under a cloud, their reputations in question. Rumours swirl about what exactly they allegedly did, and to whom the alleged victims to NDP MPs have not spoken publicly about it. Well, this is so difficult because we don't know the allegations, we don't know the specifics. It's the reputation that's on the line uh, on both sides of the coin, uh, and there has to be a way of handling this with, some, with, with fairness. But what is fair? The Liberals tried to hand the case over to the Speaker, essentially the House of Commons referee. I have asked the Speaker to uh, ascertain whether or not uh, there can be a third-party independent process uh, that, that, will, uh, that will be begun. I am hopeful that it will. The Speaker has sent a letter of response to the Liberals, but the party hasn't revealed his answer. So the question remains, without an official complaint from the alleged victims, what would be investigated? The two MPs involved have said they don't want to go forward which could leave this case in a stalemate. The MPs are in limbo until such time as the log jam is broken. The NDP say some members of their party knew of at least one of the allegations for months, but kept quiet about it because that's what the MPs wanted. We made sure that they got the help that they required and we made sure that they were followed. There was a hard ironclad guarantee of confidentiality. But one of the NDP MPs went directly to Justin Trudeau with the complaints. As to what should happen to the former Liberal MPs now... You're going to have to ask the Liberal leader. The NDP won't help the Liberals solve that problem. And Trudeau refused to say what would happen if the Speaker wouldn't order an investigation. I am not going to speculate on next steps. Up until now, there wasn't an official procedure in place for dealing with sexual harassment claims between MPs. Today, a committee of MPs put an interim policy in place, but that won't affect the cases that launched this whole discussion. Peter? All right, Catherine, thank you. Catherine Cullen in Ottawa tonight.